Hey, John Brindell from Agile Off-Road, and uh, we're gonna talk about steering stabilizers for the Ineos Grenadier. Uh, we've got two versions. We've got our Performance Series, which we've been selling now quite, quite a while. It has unique steering stabilizer features. We also are releasing a new stabilizer, specifically made for the Grenadier. This is a direct fit for the Grenadier. It's gonna bolt directly on. There are gonna be specific spacers in here. This is also adjustable and it has a through shaft design. So I'll go over those features with you so you have a better understanding why you want the through shaft. So in this stabilizer, we have a piston that goes in and on this side of the piston, there is slightly more surface area than on this side of the piston because this is made up with a small shaft, half inch shaft. And in the case of a shock absorber, I actually got one here. This is a 5H shock absorber that increases the uh, size of the, uh, the surface area on this side. So as you push in this unit, you're gonna notice it comes out fairly, fairly quick. And you really don't want that in the stabilizer. Now with the ATS, so ATS means adjustable and through shaft. So your adjustment is this right here. So with that adjustment, what there is is this shaft here is hollow. There's a bar that slides in here. There's kind of like a, a tapered cone on this side. As you thread this in, that taper goes in and it pushes the bar inward and it tightens up the stabilizer. So as you thread this device in, that, that taper gets larger, pushing the bar in and it closes off the free bleed in the shock. So it's gonna be much, much stiffer. But you're gonna notice that the shaft goes all the way through. So what this does is this equalizes, and we can run a larger shaft. You'll notice this shaft is more robust. It's like the 5 8 one here. This allows them to drill it out, put the bar inside there. And then you've got the 5 8 shaft coming this way. So now you've got a piston in there. And on each sides of that piston, there is equal surface area. So we can have 200 pounds of, of, of nitrogen charge in there. And as we press this in, you'll notice it doesn't move. So we've neutralized that movement. So we're gonna eliminate any movement in the steering wheel as you're driving down the road from like a drift that would be caused by a stabilizer. The ATS, more new technology. So important things to note here are that what we're doing here is we've made stainless steel spacers that are for the right size bolt because there's a 12 millimeter bolt on this side of the vehicle on the axle. And then over here, there's a 14 millimeter bolt. And that 14 millimeter bolt goes right into the brackets. And again, this just bolts right on. Now the factory unit is, I think this one's a Bilstein on here, and that is gas charged. And they are extremely, extremely stiff. And what this does is this frees up your steering. This works extremely well, the performance series. This works just as good, if not better, but the feature is it does have an adjustability for you. So if you feel like it's necessary for you to have a little bit stiffer steering for a long trip or, or what have you, you can go underneath and do it. And uh, we'll show you how that installs here in just a second. But um, those are the features of the ATS. Check them out on our website. Um, hit us up if you have any questions and uh, appreciate it. I'm gonna show you how to install an Fox ATS by Agile Off-Road onto an Ineos Grenadier. When you get this from us, you're gonna come pre-packaged, pre-assembled, and pre-set. So when you get it, get it and take it out of the box, it's all ready to go. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a couple of tools. You're gonna to need a 18 millimeter for this one, and you're gonna need a 21 millimeter for here. I usually use an impact on the side and uh, open end on this. So I take apart this side first, 21 up top, my 21 below, and pull that guy off. If you're doing this on the ground, it can be a little bit, especially with hand tools. So impact works really well. And then the next thing we're gonna do, if we're gonna grab our 18, go ahead and just leave it kind of in there. You're gonna pull that guy off, and everything's gonna come apart. When you get it apart on this side with the small bolt, you're gonna notice there's a little steel sleeve in there. Hang on to that steel sleeve. Just put a zip tie through there. Put this in your garage. You're probably gonna throw out it in a year because you're never gonna need it again. Say, so here's our new one. Again, this is pre-assembled from Agile Off-Road. You can see this bracket here. This is something that we've made and developed. 
This allows you to bolt it directly in. What I'll do is I'll install this side first, just kind of lay it in the bracket, and I'll take this 12 millimeter bolt here, and uh, you're gonna want the adjuster facing back. You're actually viewing this from underneath the Grenadier. Here's the front front bumpers out this way. So I take this guy here, I just take it, thread it in. Remember the ATS doesn't have, even though it has a gas charge, it's not gonna push the shock out. On this side, we're just gonna line that up. If you need to, you can extend this to get it into position. Again, it will stay there. Take and thread this on. And we're gonna run those guys in. I'll just run them in with the impact and then we're gonna torque them is gonna be our final step. I got that guy there. And again, that's an 18 on that side. And on this side, it's gonna be a 21. You're pretty much done at that point. 21 millimeters on a 14 millimeter bolt. We're gonna to go to about 105. And then on the 12 millimeter, we're gonna to go to about about 70, but you can check your uh, check your instruction sheets on that. And you are done. Remember, this is a direct fit from Agile Off-Road. It's already pre-clocked for you. We've cycled the suspension, pulled everything out. This little reservoir will not hit the track bar, it will not hit the tie rods. Over here, you've got special stainless steel spacers, which are 12 millimeter. They're designed for this bolt. And at this end here, you've got a bracket that bolts right into the factory location. And then again, we've cycled all this to make sure that none of this hits, even with additional uh, turning radius increase. So that's it, super simple. Something you can do in your house, in your garage, uh, or take it to your local mechanic. We do offer instructions, but it's gonna be pretty obvious. It bolts right in, thanks.